Welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela, and it is Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Listen, I know y'all seen these little things before, but aren't they just the cutest as cactus? But listen, I got some of everything in this taco. Come on. Father God, I thank you now for this food. I ask that you bless it for it and nourish my body. Father God, I ask that you bless the people that are in need of food right now in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Listen, let's go. I don't know. She ain't wasting no time. No. No, no. Mm. Mm-hmm. I got some pico in here. And I made these last night. And all that lime juice. Mm. So good. Mm. 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 Mm, mm, mm. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Listen, y'all. Did y'all know that they charge for COVID tests? I don't know why I didn't know that. Um, it's not cheap. Only ones that don't show up are um, like the health department. So, I need to get a, I need to get a, um, okay, I'm bad. I had to get a fork, but like the clinics and stuff, they charge. And if you want it right back, you know, like in 30 minutes, it's like 170. I had a COVID test when I had to go to the emergency room. But I didn't know that they charged. And I definitely didn't know that it was like 105, 170, 170 if you want it back like in 30 minutes. But anyway, my son, at his job, somebody tested positive. So, he had to get checked. This is so scary, y'all. I mean, so scary. And where my son works at, they don't have a mask mandate. Like, the customers can come in there with one or without one. And that ticks me off. I 
This is red Kool-Aid. And I'm drinking out of my husband's Kansas City cup. Because y'all know we're a house divided. But I see, I still buy him Kansas City stuff. Because I, I support him. Even though it's uh, Cowboy Nation over here. Don't come for me. Mm, mm, mm. That's so good. But the scary part about this whole coronavirus, this whole COVID-19 is you can be safe as possible. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. So sedition. And you can still get it. You can still get it. And then it hits people different. <clears throat> no. I know if you're older, you probably have more problem, but I have seen this really do young people bad too. You know? So. My son is going to get tested today, and I pray. I've uh, <clears throat> been praying and asking God to just cover him and keep him. Mm. Then we get a positive, uh, a negative result. You can't think as a mother you can't let your mind just dwindle on because you'll go into a deep uh deep space and next thing you know you boohooing and crying because at the end of the day you mama. And you want your kids to be okay. I'm for y'all. Already. And the only thing I had to eat today literally was <clears throat> some popcorn this morning. I really don't got so I can't hardly eat none. And then I eat slow. So Continue to um, continue to keep uh, I'm sorry, you got it straight up from my tip. Continue to keep me, my family. 
everybody that's dealing with COVID, everybody that's been exposed to COVID, everybody that's working and on the front line, everybody that can't even afford to be off work, they got to work, can't even afford to even quarantine because I'm going to tell you, literally, my daughter, she told her boss, she was like, I might need to stay out of work for a few days to make sure my brother is okay because he's been exposed to COVID and he's having some COVID symptoms and I was around him. So I might need to uh, wait a few days to come back to work. Uh, he's like, that's everybody's excuse. Um, just, uh, they saying they was around somebody with COVID. Everybody is not like that. I don't know about me and my family, but we don't want COVID. And we're not going to speak that we was around somebody in, that has COVID or exposed to COVID. And it's not true. But I understand because my husband says that there's people at his job saying that they was around people just to get off work. But listen, it ain't that serious. It ain't that serious for me. Because I don't want my family to have it. And I don't want them. People don't realize the power of words. You said that you was exposed to it and you really were. That's my honey. I might let y'all go because he don't want to talk about my son. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Share the love. Share the love. Serve God. Serve people. Love God. Love people. See you in the next video. Bye.